all right so hey loves and welcome back to my channel it is good to have you here so in this video we're going to be talking about all things backdrop related now i'm so excited because i'm going to be showing you guys my entire backdrop collection as well as providing you guys with details regarding backdrop specifications as well as inspiration when it comes to buying and building your own backdrop collection now if you are someone who is trying to create your own backdrop or your own filming setup using backdrops i'm going to be sharing with you guys details on how you can do that on a budget now if you are interested then you definitely do want to keep on watching all right so in case you guys are new here hi i'm kelly chimbemana and on this channel i share with you guys a lot of tips a lot of tricks as well as tutorials when it comes to creating your own youtube filming studio growing on youtube as well as monetizing youtube now i love this this is where i really thrive especially when it comes to production filming cameras setup lighting <gasps> I'm obsessed so in case you guys are interested please do consider subscribing by clicking on this link right here now in case you are a returning subscriber hi it's it's about time you created this video now straight to why you are here guys this right here is my entire backdrop collection it is so heavy so i'm going to be sharing with you guys details regarding backdrops this i like the most inexpensive way to create your own filming setup it's the most easiest way if that's the word to kind of start up with creating video content online either for youtube or for instagram so i'm going to be showing you guys all of my collection based on different textures based on different features as well and yes i do use fabrics because they are the most beginner friendly um, materials to use especially when you're trying to create your own backdrop it's easy to store it's easy to manage it's easy to set up and it's very cheap it's actually very affordable so these are going to be the most affordable most beginner friendly most easy to set up if that's a word um backdrops you can get so yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I have working with as well as show you guys different textures, features and why I have them, which ones I would recommend for you based on the kind of content you're creating. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's, let's start with this. Okay. So before we get started, I just wanted to share with you guys some of my backdrop background basics. All right. So before we get started, I just want to say that I do have a lot of colors going on. However, I want you guys to know that, um, there are basic colors that you need to get started with, especially if you're trying to build your brand or maybe even work with another brand these colors are going to be neutral and going to be also be acceptable when it comes to working with other brands and these are white nude black gray or green green is quite optional because with green you can do a lot of like keen chroma keen and all of that so again just focus on these four colors if you're starting off focus on a color that is very neutral if you had to pick one it's no brainer go with white white can never go wrong you can never go wrong with white so if you're thinking of buying a fabric make sure whatever fabric you're buying at least you have white so buy white and then buy more okay so now that we've gotten colors out of the way let's talk about textures now when it comes to buying fabrics always look for the ones that are stretchy i like going for crepe fabrics because they are literally can we see that they stretch they are like elastic they stretch so much now with this this makes it a lot easier to set up as well as to manage because you can easily fold this and store it and then hang it up without maintaining it so much you don't need to iron it or steam it because it's elastic all you need to do is to stretch it out hang it or put it in your backdrop or whatever i have an entire backdrop stand <laughs> series so you guys can watch it up here how i create my own backdrop set background set hanging sets on a very tight or minimal budget check it out so next up is measurement you want to always make sure that you're buying at least two yards worth of fabric now sometimes i, I step it down a bit and i buy like one and a half yards but again it's better to have more fabrics than to have less fabrics now this will depend on the lens you're using the space you have to work with but again more is always better it's better to have excess fabric than to have less fabric so to play it very safe i'm putting into consideration different lenses and different backdrops and different room sizes to play it really safe always make sure that your the minimum width of your 
fabric is at least two yards so that way it covers up a lot it's not a lot but it's enough to get you by whatever content you're trying to create trust me so yeah if you're thinking of measurements just two yards is just a sweet spot you can do more if your room is really big Okay, so the first fabric I want to show you guys is just basically plain fabrics. Now, I personally love plain fabrics, especially when it comes to creating like um, professional content, especially when you're working with brands or you're trying to create like that like aesthetically pleasing Instagram feed. So by using a plain fabric, what that is doing is that it's making sure that the focus is on you and not on the background. Because when you have a lot of things, a lot of like colors and a lot of um, patterns going on behind you, it's going to be a lot more distracting to focus on you. All right, so I also have it in black. And the funny thing about this is that this is actually my bed sheet. <laughs> I mean, but you can always make it work if you don't have fabrics. You have a white bed sheet, you have a black bed sheet. Use it. This is my bed sheet that I occasionally use as my backdrop if I want like that black out look. It's amazing. It's wide enough and it works for me. So yeah, um if you're thinking about spending money and you have different colors of bed sheets, maybe black and white, which is basically all you need, use it. I mean, it works. So again, this is sort of like my theme color. I go for like a lot of pinks because I love pinks. I love pinks. I love neutral colors and it just looks so very feminine and it looks so gorgeous. So yeah, this is pink again. It is stretchy. This is called a crepe fabric. There are a lot more fabrics like this that are stretchy. So yeah, whenever you go to your fabric store or your market, make sure that you get whatever fabric you want to get, but make sure that it is stretchy and it's at least two yards wide okay okay so this is another fabric it is not as thick as the previous one it's a lot lighter i don't know what this fabric is called but you, again you can go to your fabric store check for the various options make sure that it is stretchy that is what that for me is so key especially when it comes to setting up and maintaining this one i don't know what fabric this is but again it's stretchy i can stretch it out to make sure that it is very seamless and this has like a it's like a nudish shade. I love this one. Again, it's sort of like, it's like a, it's lighter than the previous one. But again, it is nude. It is plain. And it's not going to be distracting when I'm trying to film the content. Now, this is one of the fabrics I got when I first started buying fabric. When I first started creating content on YouTube. And I got this one. This is like a cotton fabric, guys. It is not stretchy. And I hardly use this one Two major reasons why because it's a lot dark it's really bright and secondly because it's not stretchy so if i have to use this i don't know if you guys can see the wrinkles right it means that i would have to like steam it out or iron it out and it's just a lot of stress so yeah again why i say get a stretchy fabric that way that's it that's how easy your setup is going to be so I have the same fabric in different colors. This one's like a darker pink. I have like 10 pink fabrics, but again, this one is a lot stretchy. So that way you wouldn't see any wrinkling. Can you see the difference? No wrinkles, wrinkle wear. This is in two yards. So I have a lot of plain fabrics in different colors. This one is in, um, I don't know, what, I think this is like a mustard yellow sort of like a mustard color again this one is like a cotton fabric it's not stretchy and that's why it is so wrinkled i'll hang it up so you guys can see it as well i have this one i love the color against my skin tone it's absolutely beautiful but again um there's only so much i can actually use when it comes to creating content and depending on now the reason why i buy all these colors they basically varies depends on the kind of like tutorial i'm trying to create as well as the the kind of content i'm creating whether i'm creating a branded content for instance if i'm working with a brand that has a yellow theme guess what i have a yellow fabric to work with that if the brand just like has a neutral aesthetic i can go with my white or go with like my neutral pink and it could work so um again these fabrics are really inexpensive if you're in the us you can get them for like maximum ten dollars but basically minimum average you can get them for like three dollars five dollars for like two yards if you're in nigeria 
you can get like for like one five um like one k two k maximum for two yards depending on where you're buying it from again this is what this yellow one looks like this one is a bit stretchy so it's going to look amazing when i set it up it's a bit stretchy so yeah um put that into consideration when you are buying your fabrics as well i also have this color as well this color is so gorgeous now i've created a, a tutorial using this backdrop i'll blink it here so you guys can see but what i did was that i used um christmas lights in front of it in case you guys want to see how to zhuzh up your backdrop your background your fabrics on a budget i will leave that link here it is so easy but the difference is so mind-blowing you would be mind blown on how gorgeous it looks if you guys want to learn how to like spice up your backdrop set I'll leave the link here thank me later watch it and change things up a bit okay so this is what this one looks like absolutely gorgeous okay, so now I do have a green um, backdrop this one I use this one specially for chroma keying when I want to be really extra with like my um, videos <laughs> and my tutorials when I want to spice things up a bit because with this I can key I can keep the background out and add something amazing to it so this is what the green one looks like um it's stretchy again these are basic fabrics these are like the easiest and probably the most budget friendly fabrics you can get let's move on to satin fabrics if there's anything you need to know about a satin fabric is the fact that there's just something so soft and sexy and feminine about it how silky it is but then it also has like that shine to it as well it is amazing if you're trying to create beauty content hair content it is just so amazing and so effortless and still so lush at the same time now i don't have the best of the best in terms of satin but i do have these ones that have that satin feel don't know if you guys can see what this looks like i don't know if you can see like that velvet not really velvety but like that satin look as well it is just so gorgeous set you can go for satins and it, it helps in reflecting the light but it's not like it's not, it's not an overbearing reflection it doesn't reflect too harsh so yeah and this one is also like a satinish kind of um i don't know what fabric this is but you can get like that silky like shiny feel with it it is so gorgeous i mean so i basically have different backdrops in different colors as well as different textures as well just to give like a little bit of variety so because i wanted to create like a purple hair or purple makeup look and i wanted the look to really stand out and blend in with the backdrop this is what i would use okay so yeah this is oh god just look at it look at it against my skin can we see how beautiful this is looking i love it and again with every texture with every um with every fabric texture i love to always have a baby pink color to it this one it just looks very angelic it looks so feminine it looks so soft but it still has like that really amazing glow to it i absolutely can't see take a look at it can we just see how beautiful this is looking right now i absolutely love it it's just it's almost like white but like can we see how it is glowing can we see the glow is not like blinding glow but like a really soft sexy mild glow can we see that so that's what you get with satin different fabrics give off different textures <gasps> okay so now let's move on to my favorite in terms of backdrop and that is sec queen or sequent i'm not sure how it is pronounced but sequin sequence sequence sequin yeah you guys get the gist i'll leave the name here so you guys can see but i'm just going to show you what i'm talking about this is like my infamous sequin fabric i've had this one for like three years yes this is the first backdrop that i got when i first started off youtube this has been with me for over three years and i got this for 20 pounds on amazon but i particularly love this one if you're someone who if you're a beauty content creator whether you're creating for instagram or youtube this is definitely something you can invest in sequin fabrics just it looks divine it looks 
amazing if you're also trying to get like that bouquet um, bubbles behind you this is a trick this is what you need to be using this is what this set queen looks like this is in the color rose gold now this is very reflective it's going to help in bouncing the lights it's going to add more lights to your filming environment but also add like this amazing bouquet feature that kind of gives like this bubble bubble um really but cute you know backdrop um, look when you're trying to create this is in rose gold by the way definitely look into set queens i'm going to be showing you guys a couple other colors that i have i just i i can't just have one of these come on so this is one that i particularly love again you guys know that i like white with like a hint of pink in it so that way it looks really um soft it looks really simple and yeah this one has like an iridescent feel and look to it so with this it's like a 3d bouquet my problem with this is that it doesn't stretch but yeah this is so amazing it reflects different colors different angles when the light hits it looks purple it looks blue it looks green it looks pink but the base is basically white with this it's going to be amazing for creating beauty content i absolutely love this one it's probably going to be like my favorite it's going to make your backdrop or your background look like five times brighter than it actually is because again it reflects the light as you guys are seeing can we see how it's reflecting the light but it also adds dimension and colors and character to your backdrop and background it's so amazing i absolutely absolutely love this one so another color that i have is silver this just screams rich girl it screams diamond it screams expensive because again it is silver i absolutely love this again like i said it is sequin sequence i'm not really sure how it's pronounced but again you get like that shine you get like that reflection going on <sighs> if you like it to be a lot more juicy and a lot more sparkly then definitely go for a set um go for a sequence fabric they are the way to go if you want like that extra sparkly effect bouquet effect then sequins are definitely the way to go now i also have it in black just to dim it down a bit i also have it in black again because it is sequins you guys are seeing that it still has like that lush feel that expensive feel that very glittery glam feel so if you're thinking of doing like a really glam glittery look think of getting one of these <laughs> now the last in terms of my sequin fabric uh, probably the most expensive uh, and it has to be this one this one caught my eyes a couple of months ago i saw this and i knew that i had to get it this is so amazing because it has like this iridescent feel it also has like a 3d effect it has some plastic -y, um i don't know what these are but like they have they add um what's it called it makes it reflect different colors i love it whenever you get tired of it you can easily convert any of these materials into an actual cloth you can make a cloth out of it but, so yeah they are multi-purpose multi-use so don't think that you're just going to waste it and keep it there if you're done filming if you quit youtube then convert your backdrops into dresses I'm in. Okay, so next up are 3D fabrics. Now these ones are so amazing. The previous fabric I showed, the previous um, sequin fabric is sort of like a 3D fabric, but we'll just let that slide. This one is so gorgeous because again, it has like some flower, some um, 3D flower thingy going on and it is just so gorgeous but yet so soft you can definitely use this for like a photo shoot or your background this is another option another way you can go again um this this fabric is not as pronounced as i would have loved i would have loved like it to have come out really bold and really you know detailed um this one is actually like an old fabric that my mom used so again you can get your fabrics from your mom's wardrobe <laughs> because they have a lot of fabrics especially if they are african or better still nigerian they have a lot of fabrics in their wardrobe 
because they tie a lot of wrappers so yeah um you can get their fabrics borrow it and use it to create your own backdrop begin can you see how this is like a wrapper actually i've had this for like four years this is a wrapper but using it as a backdrop it just looks amazing and gorgeous wow i'm mind blown right so lastly let's talk about prints fabric now print fabric are a little bit more fun to play with because you can get them in different prints different colors different textures as well but my problem with it is that sometimes it could get a little bit overwhelming and, and very distracting when you're filming because again again you always want the attention to be on you and not on the fabric but i do have a couple of them i want to say that i do love them and i do really fancy them so i'm going to be showing you guys some of the ones i i have this is a very popular one here on my channel this is like uh um i want to say like a leopard cow print i don't know what print this is but like it's a pink and black print it's so gorgeous i absolutely love it i love that it's pink and i also love that it is black but yeah this is what it looks like put behind me it looks so gorgeous and absolutely love so this is something you can definitely try because i am an african girl i am nigerian i love my african fabric my ankaras and all of that and these also not only look amazing when you like make dresses and all of that with them but they are also good as backdrop as well so if you have these if you're nigerian and you have a lot of like fabrics at home this is something you can actually use i absolutely love this one i filmed a couple of videos using fabrics and it's just amazing it looks so amazing it has like this you know afro vibe i'm going to hang them up so you guys can see what it looks like but can we just appreciate this print right here when it is blurred out it looks even better i have them in different textures in different colors this is also amazing i love my car prints and i have this one in purple again i have another like kente um look but i don't know what that one is but yeah this is something you can try I have a couple more laying around here <laughs> so yeah i really do go hard on my fabric and yeah so yeah um that is my entire backdrop collection i absolutely am in love with variety and creating your set and filming naturally thriving here on youtube without actually breaking the bank and that is something i like to drive on my channel and share with you as well on my channel is different tricks and different ways to have an amazing high quality set production whatever it is without actually spending a lot of money so in case you guys haven't seen how i hang these backdrop sets in two different ways on a budget literally for like three dollars create your backdrop stand for three dollars in like five minutes or less i'll leave the links over here so you guys can watch them learn from them and start doing and creating based on them so yeah, in case you guys are seeing me for the first time and you've watched this video up until now let me know down in the comment section comment backdrop goes down in the comment section i can't wait to see you guys in my next video do feel free to subscribe to my channel it is so amazing it is so amazing here on my channel and it is free what do you have to lose okay so yeah i'm um, definitely free to check out my other videos over here in case you guys are trying to create your own backdrop set if you want to see how i created my backdrop set behind the scenes then i'll leave the link here as well so you guys can check them out if you're getting started with youtube then watch these as well so yeah i'll see you guys in one of these videos until then stay fabulous let's let's go